This is not a drill! The Bouncer has returned to Ratchet and Clank 2016. I repeat, The Bouncer has returned to Ratchet and Clank PS4. This came so far out of left field that I've gotta talk about it. Hey guys, Blue Knight here, and some of you might be confused by the intro, and quite frankly, so am I, considering this is an 8-year-old game this month. So, I'll give you a bit of a recap on how we got here. The Bouncer debuted in Ratchet & Clank Going Commando in 2003. It was one of the most busted weapons in the game, often making it too easy, but because of it, it became a fan-favorite weapon. And it was one of the few weapons that returned in the sequel, Up Your Arsenal, in 2004. Unlike last time, it's unlocked near the end of the game because of how overpowered it was in an already easy game. This would be the last time we'd see the Bouncer in the main series until June 2015 when E3 was still in its prime, years before its eventual death. PlayStation dropped a trailer during that year's event, which not only gave us our first updated look at the then-upcoming film, but also our first look at the reimagining of the PS2 original. Man, watching this trailer just takes me back. It's hard to believe it's been nine years since the trailer was uploaded. Exciting times it was. Anyway, at the end of the trailer, we're told that the Bouncer is a pre-order exclusive. And if you were someone like me, who didn't have a PS4 at the time the game released in 2016, then you missed out and there was no way to get it. With any unredeemed codes expiring in 2018, leaving everyone with a permanent empty slot on the weapon wheel. So unless you lived in Japan or created a Japanese PlayStation account, because for some reason, they've had access to it all this time, while the rest of the world didn't after the pre-order window expired, then you were out of luck. Then, in March 2021, the game received a 60fps patch on PS5, ahead of Rift Apart's launch a few months later, which not only featured the bouncer, but it wasn't locked behind pre-orders. Instead, it's only attainable via a challenge mode playthrough. So this PS5 patch for the PS4 game gave people hope that the bouncer could still be added. Insomniac immediately crushed those hopes while also informing us that the Bouncer wasn't going to be in the PS4 game to begin with, since it wasn't in the original PS2 game, and that they're sorry they can't unlock it for everyone. Three years later, and now we can get it for free. And according to Advanced Senior Community Director at Insomniac Games, Aaron Jason Espinoza, I really hope I didn't screw that last name up. It was initially planned to drop in 2022 for the series' 20th anniversary, but the team ran into some legal hurdles that caused it to be delayed indefinitely, and because of multiple insomniacs including James Stevenson, who kept on pushing for it within that time. Well, we finally have it as part of the game's 8th anniversary. You guys are absolute legends for this. Thank you. Honestly, no complaints here. It is one of my favorite weapons in the PS2 saga. I've spent about 15 minutes with the Bouncer in the 2016 game's challenge mode for the purpose of this video, which was enough time to fully upgrade it since it upgrades stupidly fast, not counting the Raritanium upgrades. And I've heard that it makes the game far too easy since it's made available on Planet Novalis, literally the start of the game, and it only costs 100 bolts, so I can kinda see it easily breaking the game especially when some of the balls go bouncing really high. But hey, the important thing is we can finally complete our arsenal and fill up the dreaded empty slot in our weapon wheels. So with that said, the bouncer is available to everyone who owns the 2016 reimagining, and it's usable on both the PS4 and PS5 right now. It might have took eight years for it to happen, but we are here. So what do you guys think? Be sure to leave everything down in the comments section below. Also be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for more Ratchet and Clank content, and once again, I've been Blue Knight. Thank you so much for watching and for the constant support. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys back here next time.